Hi, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today to share the latest Vogue pattern release with you. So everything I talk about today is available on our lovely website and you'll find links to our website and all the products I mentioned below. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. If you can't wait a whole week, do jump on and check out our social accounts. We're in all the usual places, Instagram, Facebook, and we share posts there daily as well. So I've picked out a few of my favourites from the Vogue release and I've picked out gorgeous new lots of new fabrics here as well to show you um, that you could sew them up in. As I mentioned all of that's linked below but do stay tuned to the end of the video as well because this was quite a meaty release and uh, all the rest of the designs are in a slideshow at the end of the video so do stay tuned for that. But let's get started with my picks for now. I just thought I'd run through the size chart with you quickly at the start of the video so most of the patterns in this release come in a 6 or an 8 to a 24 a 6 is a 30 and a half bust 23 waist and a 32 and a half hip and a 24 is a 46 bust 44 sorry 39 waist and 48 hip um, but all the details are on the website and if you ever do have any questions just drop us an email we're always very very happy to help but let's get started with the first design which is Vogue 1862 comes in sizes 8 to 24 and this is a really pretty dress design there's two options a sort of midi length option with a dipped hem at the back and then a sort of knee length option um, both have got a sort of flared skirt and they've got this lovely there's a waistband that comes into almost like a v or a y at the front um, so it's very fitted and nipped in at the waist and then this lovely flared skirt the midi length version is super elegant has got long sleeves um, a, a bit of gathering at the sleeve head to give you a little bit of a puff effect gathering around the neckline and then there's a little neck band at the top um, and then on the back there's also gathers above and below the waistband and then the short sleeve version is the same um, it's just knee length rather than the um, having the dipped hem and being the midi length and then the short sleeves but all the other design details are the same um, it suggests making this up in a, a range of different fabrics so you can go for something very very drapey like view b which is the midi length dress um, something like a rayon chalet or a linen blend or you can go for something like a sateen, which I suspect is what they made view A in the shorter version on the pattern packet, um, which has got a little bit more structure and gives that skirt a bit more of an A-line shape. Um, but a really pretty dress pattern. And the fabric I chose, I thought I'd have to make the midi length version because it's just so elegant and chic. And I think it would look wonderful made up in this linen mix fabric that we've just had in, which is a Lady McElroy absolutely beautiful design with red poppies and little lilac flowers which look like I think maybe forget-me-nots correct me if I'm wrong um, but just such a pretty design and as you would expect from a linen viscose mix it's got lots of drape and movement so it would work really well for the gathers and that beautiful flared dipped hem skirt as well so that's my choice for that one the next pattern I chose is Vogue 1850. So this is something I need more in my wardrobe. I don't have a great deal of skirts in my handmade wardrobe. I've made a few, but they're easy to make. They're quick to make and they're really easy to wear every day as well. So I need to step my skirt game up definitely. And I would like to do it with the short version of 1850, which runs in sizes 8 to 24. Um, it's an unlined asymmetric wrap skirt. It's got front pleats, top stitching, a stitched hem, inside ribbon ties and length variations. So there's sort of like a midi length version hitting you at the mid calf and then there's the shorter version which is above the knee as I said I would be going for the shorter version in this one and again they've made it in a really wide range of fabrics so you can see the midi length version has been made in like a synthetic leather so a really heavyweight fabric with a lot of structure um, but then they also suggest you can use very 
drapey fabrics like rayon crepes, um, linen blends, which I suspect the shorter version has been made with because that looks like a lot more drapey and flowy. It's ranked as a very easy pattern as well, and I'm sure it would be. One of them closes with a button closure, the other one closes, it closes with a buckle. When we do the buckles on our website, we do all the notions, everything you need for your, your sewing projects on our website. Um, but I would go for that short um, button version and I would make it in another gorgeous Lady McElroy um, linen mix fabric. They're linen and viscose, I think, these ones. Double check on the website, all the details are there. But I just love this khaki and black um, animal print. I just think it's so chic perfect for summer it gives me total sort of safari vibes and i think style just the way they have on the packet with a simple black um i've got like a nice simple black scoop neck t-shirt or a, a perhaps a black cami um it would just be brilliant for every day in the summer so i really need to try and remember that one and make that up because i need to step my skirt game up in my wardrobe i haven't got enough in there the next pattern I chose is Vogue 1845, um, which is another big trend for this year. So these were all over the place at the Oscars, but it's the white shirt, classic white shirt with a twist. Add some design details, add some interesting um, little details and you, you bang on trend for this year. So Vogue 1845, comes in sizes 8 to 24 and it's got lots of features that make it head and shoulders above that sort of simple classic white shirt that we might all already have in our wardrobes. So it's got a very high collar stand. Um, so it gives a lot of, it's all about the drama, this pattern. So a high collar stand, it's got a covered button closure down the front, and then it's got a very fitted waist, um, which has got tucks, all the way around it, uh, front and back waistline tucks. So that gives it that shape and draws it in, but also gives lots of intricate detail as well. It's got um, a high-low hem, so it curves up at the centre front and then it comes down at the centre back. It's got bishop sleeves, which I love, um, and then it's got tucks at the bishop, at bottom of the bishop sleeve, um, which form a cuff and have got an invisible zipper opening. So lots and lots of really interesting details to sew here, but also to wear. And I think just something like this in your wardrobe, I always remember years ago, I worked with an incredibly stylish woman who always looked fabulous, whatever she wore. And I remember going out on one of our team nights out for a meal at a restaurant and she wore a blouse probably quite a similar on a similar theme just paired with some jeans and some heels and she looked amazing it was such a dramatic look for you know even though it was a, just a white shirt effectively it was just all about the drama and the detail in the sleeves and um, that sort of thing so for that pattern we've got some white quilting cotton on the site which um, the only thing you have to, people do use this for dressmaking. I think it would work really well for the tucks and um, the stand-up collar. It's got good structure. Um, you just have to watch the width of these fabrics. Obviously might not be as wide or won't be as wide as your dressmaking fabric. So just do check the details on that one. But that would work really well for that shirt. And then the next pattern I chose is Vogue 1847, which is kind of a similar theme to the last one. It's not a shirt, it's a blouse, um, but it's all about the high drama again. However, I do think it, it depends what fabric you make it in. So they've, they've created two very different looks on the pattern packet. Very dramatic long sleeve version in a white fabric, which really shows up all of the design features. But then they've also made a version in a print and it looks a lot more sort of everyday, like I'd feel quite comfortable wearing that every day. So it's 1847, it comes in sizes eight to 24, but the other great thing about this pattern is it also comes with cup sizes. So you will find this on some of the Vogue patterns, not all, 
they come with options for cup sizes A, B, C and D. So patterns are normally drafted for a B cup. So if you're bigger than that or smaller than that, you might have to do a full bust adjustment or a small bust adjustment. But the patterns that come with the cup sizes, you can just cut the relevant size out for you. So that saves a lot of time and hassle. Um, but yeah, design details, it's got a center front seam. It's got um, like a, turt a stand up turtleneck. It's got princess seams at the front and the back to give you that real shaping. It's got a center back seam, which is done up with a zip. So that's like quite a nice design feature as well, makes it feel a bit more special. It's got bust darts. And then it's got, it's a funnel neck top, sorry, not a turtle neck because it's grown on, it's part of the blouse. So it's not a separate band, it's actually part of it. Um, it's got pleated puff sleeves with length variations. So the long sleeve version, or you can go for a short sleeve version, which is gathered into a relatively deep cuff. Um, and the fabrics it suggests are again drapey fabrics like linen blends, a broadcloth, cotton satin, um, brocade. So, you know, you can go for something a bit stiffer with a little more structure on this one, I think. And I would be tempted to make version A, which is the short sleeve version, in this gorgeous cotton satin fabric we've got. I think this isn't, yeah, it's another Lady McElroy. Love this animal print, love how fresh and bright this is for this time of year. And I just think, because it's a cotton satin, it's got a lovely silky soft handle. It really is a beautiful handle on this fabric. Um, but it's a little bit weightier than some of the cottons you might find um, so it's going to be good for creating a bit of structure with that um, funnel neck and also the dramatic sleeve as well and then the next pattern I've chosen is Vogue 1859 which is a super chic classic dress that I think if I had this in my wardrobe I would wear it again and again over the years it's just beautiful in its simplicity so it is um it comes in sizes 8 to 24 this one comes with cup sizes again so great advantage for anybody with fitting issues there uh, cup sizes a b c and d are included so it's fitted through the bust it's got bust starts that come up um for, to the bust almost like a french dart but not as deep as that um slightly it's slightly flared skirt um relatively fitted round the waist um and it's got an empire seamed bodice and then it's got shaped armhole bands so it hasn't got a sleeve but it's just got almost like a little cap um armhole band that finishes the the uh, armhole sorry <laughs> um which i really love i think that's a lovely design feature as well and then it's got these openings. It's got an opening at the top and an opening at the front, um, probably from down around the knee somewhere, um, which is all finished with like a band. Um, centre back seam down the skirt at the back and a couple of waist darts at the back as well. And then it's finished with an invisible zipper and they suggest finishing the inside with a Hong Kong seam, which would be a really lovely way to make it a classic, beautiful piece inside and out. And the fabrics you can use for this one are um, suggest things like medium weight cotton, linen, that sort of thing. So I chose, we've got a brand new range of linen fabrics, which I'm really excited about. They're linen cotton mix. Um, they're a, a fine weave and they come in a beautiful range of colours. So we've got classic sort of neutral colours like your black and your navy, but we've also got some really beautiful, bold contemporary colours like a lovely jade green, a sort of sax blue colour. Um, Oh, we've got like a yellowy colour, like a pale lemony sort of colour maybe. It's not a lemon, it's like a pale yellow. Um, and then we've also got this gorgeous coral colour, which I really like. I just think that is gorgeous for the spring and the summer, um, right at my street. And that would work beautifully for that dress and be so cool um, to wear as well. It's just got lovely drape and movement, as you can see. It's a really nice linen mix fabric. And as I say, comes in a wide range of colours. So, you know, whatever your preference is, hopefully we can tick that box for you. 
Um, and then the next design I wanted to share with you is Vogue 1869, which is a real wow factor classic sort of Vogue design. So this comes in sizes 8 to 24 and it's high drama occasion wear you know the thing that Vogue does best um oh if I had an event to wear this too I'd definitely make it I just think it's such a lovely design so it's an off the shoulder top which is close fitting through the bust it's got like a bardo um sort of fold over or a collar that comes across the front and then it's got princess seams and an asymmetric hem with a side slit so it's got a really dramatic asymmetric hem on this um, top which starts at the sort of um, mid hip I would say and ends somewhere down below your knee um, it's got an invisible back zipper and hook and eye closure and then just some classic wide leg pants which are fitted through the hips have a narrow waistband and back darts for a good fit um, and an invisible zipper and hook and eye closure on there again um, the fabrics they suggest for this one are crepe or satin back crepe or ponty knit um, and I just think oh yeah high drama occasion wear is Vogue at its best I just love the styling on the packet as well the way that the model's just got a very simple uh, hair pinned back very simply and then really dramatic jewellery to set it off it's just gorgeous and I thought the styling on the packet was so good I would just shamelessly copy it <laughs> with our mystique satin back crepe so you've got the option for the high shine satin side or the crepe side which is um, matte um, but it's got a very sort of subtle sheen to it as you would expect on a satin back crepe but beautiful quality it's a John Caldor beautiful colour I actually had this colour very very similar to this at my wedding and um, yeah just think it's lovely for a special occasion so that would be my choice for that one and then finally the last pattern I wanted to share with you was Vogue 1867 which is a lovely simple um, jacket and trouser pattern um, I think it say, says it's sort of relatively easy as these things go, but just double check that on the details. It doesn't look like it would be particularly easy. I wouldn't recommend this for a beginner, certainly. Um, but I just really like the design of the jacket. I think there's some really nice features. The collar on it is unusual. Um, I think it looks like a jacket that you would very happily wear at weekends it doesn't look too formal it's a nice casual look and just a little bit different to the things we're used to seeing so it's semi-fitted it's lined with shoulder pads um, it's got seven eighth length two piece sleeves so that's good for movement um, with a shaped vent the side front and side back seams um, and then it's cut away at the front um, with zippered pockets that's another nice little feature those little cute zippered pockets semi-fitted tapered pants have got a shaped waistband back welt pockets so another sewing technique there to get your teeth into making a welt pocket and fly zipper closing I think this would be a great project to get your teeth into if you really wanted to stretch your sewing skills have a go at a bit of tailoring um, but then come up with something that I would wear this jacket a lot I'd wear it I think it would look great with jeans they've styled it with white trousers on the pattern packet um, but yeah I think it's one of those I think the sleeves the length of the sleeves uh, makes it just look that bit more sort of casual um, so the fabric I chose they suggest crepes ponty stretch wovens for this so I chose a stretch crepe fabric um, in this gorgeous sort of tomato-y red colour um, which was one of the key colours they, these sort of orange red coral tones were really key on the catwalks for this season there was lots and lots of orange and red tones um, and I just think this colorway would be absolutely gorgeous and would sew it beautifully into a jacket so I hope you've enjoyed that today as always everything I mentioned throughout the video it's all linked below so do jump on the website and have a look check out the patterns check out the fabrics and if you like what you see today please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.